Hey everyone, good morning. Mm -hmm. Welcome mm -hmm. to Dan Thai mm -hmm. Cafe. We are in Chung Phuong. <laughs> this is my friend. He is being so awesome, rushing to help us out. We are we are heading to the next town for a very special ceremony. One of our friends, his nephew, is doing his monk ordination ceremony today. So thank you, thank you so much for joining. It is going to be a great day. I hope you are excited. We are very happy to have you with us. I love this breakfast. It is uh, something that we've kind of done as a tradition after our morning bike ride. They all just got back, they all just arrived, and we are gonna have kind of, yeah, our, our favorite little tradition here before we get on the road. Thank you again to my friend Bob, Dan Thai Coffee. <laughs> Actually, my friend's nephew, his ordination ceremony is in the next town. So we took our rented car there. It was about a 25 kilometer cruise. And we are walking through the procession. This is so cool. It's such a high energy place. I'm just, I'm so happy they invited us here. And I'm so happy we had the chance to visit. Thank you. Again, thank you for joining us. title that the video says this is a monk ordination ceremony it is a short-term ordination this is a very ancient tradition I am NOT an expert but I'll just go through the basics right now first of all what is the point well Thai Buddhism places high value on building merit so this is a combination of internal and external actions becoming a monk even short-term brings huge merit for the entire family specifically by strengthening the bond between mother and son. Per the Thai belief, you can see this blessing in action right now. Asking my friends why this young man is doing a short-term ordination, most of them simply said, it's something that Thai people should do. You can see then another main reason is just to uphold this deep-seated respect for their own beautiful culture. Short-term ordination is sort of unique to Thai Buddhism, but it's something that holds the highest respect in Thai culture. Yes, even in the year 2020. And one final reason before we move on to some awesome live music to start the ceremony, this will give Nong Te a taste of monastic life and let him know if he may be attracted to becoming a monk at some time in his future. There are so many parts to this day, it begins with a very special ceremony, just the family. The head is shaved, and then from there we have a small ceremony in the home. This, this is just so fascinating to me. Do you see the guy heading up the procession? He is not only taking care of ceremonies, he is also going to sing, he is also making jokes along the way, and again, I don't know all the details, but he has such skill. Something I can tell you is that he is improvising. And of course, some parts, oh, you just had to be there. Even in our modern day of being able to record almost everything digitally, there is just such, an, such a wonderful sense of togetherness being part of a ceremony like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
าจายันทุเทวาชลทลาวิสเมยะขาพันทัพนามอายามบันทันตาธรรมสวนกาโรอายามบันทันตาธรรมสวนกาโรอายามบันทัน Any ceremony, any gathering, there is gonna be food, and the food looks great. Can you imagine the size of the team, though, that is required to feed all these people? <laughs> It was so cool hanging out with them, and they're so friendly. Of course, they're just having fun. It's a long day for them, so they're looking for ways to smile and laugh while they work. And Lee and I were able to get some fun shots, hanging out with the chefs. And okay, of course, we are just as hungry as everyone else, looking at how beautiful the displays of food are on every table. All of these guys running around, bringing food so quickly. It's amazing, honestly, how fast they can serve all these hundreds of people. And now it is lunchtime. Let's sit down. So these kind of tables, because it's a party, they—it's just a party atmosphere. Just everything is happening at different times. The food is coming out. For example, we got like a salad, sweet salad dessert right here, because the kitchen is trying to serve hundreds of people. All the different tables are taking part. They're going to give their respect to the ceremony, but then also having fun, celebrating this day. So I have something like a fruit salad here, grapes. Guava. Mm. Mm. Good guava. But then also a whole steamed fish, and this would be bla sambo. A whole steamed tilapia came to the table, and also there is this salad. You can go say hi to your friends, but you come back to your table, and like your courses are running from that table. So you have your water, you have your hors d'oeuvres, you have your salad, you have um, your two main courses are already here, and then um, I'm sure we still have rice coming. I'm sure there's a vegetable dish still coming, and then the drinks are waiting on the table. So you have a bucket of ice. You have three different drinks. We have. To choose from. Let me take a drink on that note. A complete situation of making yourself at home, and this is one entire village all here together today. So cool. That salad is awesome. The amount of lemongrass is just so amazing, and the fresh herbs you've got, mint. This is just, yeah, full-on flavor. Look at that. So there is a chili jam 
in there. And that's why it's kind of red, kind of translucent, a chili jam, and then tons of herbs. So the fresh herbs chopped in that I can see are kaffir lime, have actually some fresh cabbage, white cabbage, and then tons of lemongrass. Mm. And those are raw oysters, by the way. Mm. Okay, tons of lemon, lemongrass. Lime juice. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love things so heavy on the fresh lemongrass. And that is spicy. Yum dishes, they need to be spicy. Yes, there is alcohol on the table, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tasting the dishes. It's still, it's not even 10 a.m. yet. Mm. Yum, yum, hoi lai. Jan gili up, pet mai. And then you have your sour dipping sauce on the table, but I just want to taste the fish first. Of course, the fish is just like swimming in chili sauce. It's called three, three flavor chili sauce in Thai. And yeah, tilapia is so flaky like that, just really easy to eat in that style. Steamed, by the way. And then the belly. Oh, the belly is where most of the fat is. So back here in the chef station, hanging out with all the beautiful chefs. They are working hard. It is hot in here. This is a dish called Kao Kru Kapi. Kapi is the fish paste, Kru is the action. Kao just means rice, so they have huge pots. This is a Chinese style soup. You can see the gou gou qi berries floating on top. And then she is putting together a ton of these fire pots. But I just love this dish, actually. So this is a beautiful display around the rice in the middle. All of these will be going to the tables. All of these guys are working so hard and it is hot outside. So thank you to everyone for your hard work. Thank you. So around the rice in the middle, you see eggs on top, cilantro, red onions, uh, cow peas, mango, chilies, cucumber, a lime, and then the pudinsia. On the side, you have the Chinese uh, candied sausage. A beautiful dish. I guess you would call it a rice salad. There are a few varieties. In the south, they eat kao yang. Here they eat kao kukapi. And then in the north, maybe kao ganjin. Thank you guys, thank you. It's awesome to see how fast they can serve hundreds of people here today. It is so great to be just hanging out here again. As you obviously can see, this was part of my daily life a long time ago, but it's been years, honestly, 
since I was able to experience this just like a normal day. The ceremony is not a normal day. The ceremony is very special, but hanging out with this family together, just hanging out on a normal day, it's something I miss so much. So I'm happy to be able to share this on a video today, but this is just special for me to be here. And finally, the big festivities are about to begin, but just have to take a chance to get a photo with this very handsome young man right here. And now the band is warmed up and they are starting to rock. People are dancing, everyone is so happy, and this, this is where really the party atmosphere just continues. Now it is open to the whole village and everyone will come out, dance in the streets. It's just a great time. And if you have ever experienced this in the countries out of Thailand, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. My heart is very happy to take part in your handsome, thank you so much.
ดีใจมากเลยเนาะกำลังกับพยายามดูเอาแล้วใส่ห้องดีใจนะครับดีใจ thank you thank you ระมัด thank you ระมัดโอเคโอเคจะฝึกให้แกพูดเราสปีกเราคนสวยมาที่หลังคนตาดีเขาบอกหาบอกหาแม่บอกหาเลยไปบายไปบายน่าอ่าน่าตุ๊กตุ๊กน่าสุดน่าสุดโอ้โหดูสวยลูกอังโอเคนี่เอาไปซื้อน่าเลยเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพี่ลืมพูดตัวยุกเลยครับเราพูดไทยอะไรโอ้ยไทยเดี๋ยวคุณลูกใส่ไปใส่ไปแล้วครับพี่อีกเลยไปกันดูไปกันไปกันดูไปกันไปกันดูไปกันดูไปกันดูไปกันดูไปกันดูไปกันดูไปมาแล้วเดี๋ยวไม่กินข้าวไ